So welcome to another video update for the Red Dragon Growers. I just wanted to show you what we have growing. I just picked these from the garden between today and yesterday. This is called a scallop squash and I was so excited for this to watch this grow because it's so unusual. So this is a summer squash. You can eat it just like any other kind of squash like this. This is a round zucchini squash. And uh, here's some eggplant and some cucumbers and uh, some herbal tea that I'm working on. So I wanted to start the 2021 summer update in the house so you can see what's going on here. These are my seeds that I'm collecting as the seeds become uh, ready. I collect them in there. And then there's some garlic that I harvested. I'm drying that out, it's just about ready. Some more seeds. And here is some microgreens that I'm growing. These, this is grass, wheat grass. This is sunflowers, sunflowers. So I'm growing all these for their health benefits and I juice them. So that is the start of some wheat grass. And then this is lentils. And I make soup out of that, or I juice it. So now we're gonna head outside. We'll get an update on how everything has been growing in here. I'm very excited to show you this. Doggy has to join us. All right, so here we are in the outdoor space for the summer 2021 update. I had a lot of extra tomatoes and peppers uh, grow. So I have had to come up with a, a solution because I didn't want to, I didn't want them to go to waste. So I created this area here and you can see this is the hot tub and oh, that's trash. You don't want that. Um, but here I have a little sitting area set up with uh, the medicinal garden that's right there. And I'll go through that and show you what everything is there growing. But this is where I have, uh, the start of my meditation garden. So we walk this way. And there's these are all my extra tomatoes and uh, some things creating a privacy screen here for me when I'm sitting in my hot tub. We have lemongrass, we have scarlet sage growing right there, and some tomatoes, some new tomatoes I'm trying to grow, and there's a pepper. It's a long red, looks like, long red sweet pepper. And some tomatoes coming right there. That is a sun gold, and they are gold. And down here we have the winter squash all coming in real nice. This one is the acorn squash. I can't find the tag, but that's what I know it is. Butternut squash growing real nice there. Uh, delicata winter squash is what that is. So I didn't have any room left in the ground and I needed to come up with a solution. So this is my solution and this guy needs a little bit of water. And that is spaghetti squash. This is Dominic's garden right over here. But over here is my little uh, sunflower. Oh, there's a neighbor. Sunflower uh, meditation garden right there. And then the rest of the tomatoes that didn't have any space in the ground. There's Piper. Hello, doggy. And there's the top of the uh, greenhouse for the bed out here. So this is new. And this is the garden bed that Frank built me so that I could grow things all year round. And then I built a heart shaped garden bed around it with all foods and flowers and vegetables that are all very good and healthy for you and just fun to look at like this right here is one of my favorite things to look at that is a chili pepper masquerade chili pepper they're really for ornamental beauty because they're very very hot unless you like hot things right there is a snapdragon kind of at the end of their life and this is my basil garden 
There's seven different kind of basils in this garden and then one additional one over in the other garden. But we have Thai basil, amethyst basil, red Reuben basil right there, Genovese basil, Tuscany basil, spicy bush basil. Did I say amethyst basil? And they're all right in here. And uh, then we got some peppers growing right there. Paprika. That one's not doing very well, so we're gonna take that one out. But we have a pimento there. And an orange, sweet long. So we're waiting for that one to turn orange. We're waiting for those to turn red. Well, not that one, but those over there, the paprika. And uh, take you over here to the other side of the heart. So we already harvested all of this that was in here and I'm getting ready to put the fall harvest in there, getting the soil ready. But down here, I want to show you, there it is, there's some okra. So that is red okra, and back there is Clemson spineless okra. So two different kinds of okra growing here. And really, I was growing the okra for the flowers. The flowers are absolutely beautiful when they bloom. I don't think I have any blooming today right now but um, but the okra itself is pretty good it's the first time I ever tried it and it's pretty good over here is the eggplant garden and I've been harvesting this and yesterday I made eggplant parmesan for a little barbecue we had here at the house and everyone absolutely loved it so it was a big hit and I was happy about that and over here we've got some really neat looking black pearl peppers we can get in there and see them it's very excited to see them pop up here is a spice pepper as well a little bit spicy these beautiful flowers i absolutely love these those are called gazania i started them in the winter and uh you know as little seeds in my indoor growing area so it's really nice to see them now and there's another color that's over here all right so next i'll take you around to dominic's area he's got some popcorn growing that's been very exciting to see now of course i primarily take care of this garden but he calls it his garden and it's very cute because he just really loves everything that's growing here we have cantaloupe, and then we have the popcorn growing right here. So we're waiting for the stalks here to turn brown. And uh, then we'll know that it's ready, except this is popcorn, so we're gonna let it dry on the stalk and then harvest it and make popcorn out of it. So I see we've got a cucumber that's crawling up that tomato plant. I'm gonna need to, or not a cucumber, that's a cantaloupe. I'm gonna need to go fix that later i'm constantly out here checking on things like that but moving over here now we're getting into where the tomatoes are and i have flowers and this is a little solar sunflower but this is a little reseeded sunflower from last year it reseeded itself right there in the garden so i left it but we've got some kale mixed in with the tomatoes and the tomatoes are just beginning to ripen right now Two early ones are the Super Sweet 100s, which are, um, I think, the only hybrid seed that I have in the garden. I try to grow all heirlooms, so all the other ones should be heirlooms. And the other ones that are ripening are the Sun Golds. So over here you can see these are the Super Sweet 100s. Now I got them because I just love the way they grow. I wanted to see it. I saw another gardener growing them on his YouTube channel and he had a video and I just wanted to see them for myself and they are beautiful and the sun gold's the same thing so they grow the same way they just turn gold when they're ready and then I have some larger ones back there that's called a big rainbow we've got some as a black brandy wine back there that's beginning to turn and up here, that's another black brandy wine. I've got white tomatoes. I've got one called a mortgage lifter. That's back there. 
And we've got some Swiss chard here. I just made a soup out of that with the lentils the other day. It was very good, but when I have a, an excess of this stuff, I just juice it. And I drink it, and it's wonderfully healthy. We've got some blanket flour here. This is a kale flour. You can see how unique that is. It's not really meant to eat, it's just meant to be ornamental. Just something pretty. So moving on, now we get to the perennial that I have in the garden here, the perennial herb. That is fennel. Fennel bulb. It's got a bulb down there. I could harvest it, but I've let it grow because it's kind of cool. And now it's getting flowers and it's pretty tall and it's very stately looking, so I've left it there. And over here is the pepper garden pepper area so I've got many 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 different kinds of pepper there's a unique one these are all spicy there's the ghost pepper very spicy back here I've got some more pimentos and that's something called a Jimmy Nardello and that one needs a little bit of help he's falling over so we'll help him these are we're still waiting for these to turn red can't wait I'm very excited to see that. Back there we still have some butterfly weed that is blooming, but it should be at the end of its life cycle there. And the next round of flowers are getting ready to bloom, like the zinnias, the sunflowers, my four o'clock flowers. They only bloom after four o'clock though. Strawberries are all done for the year. And the blueberries, I moved them. They didn't produce that much this year maybe they will next year these, these are a lot of the four o'clocks here flowers i'm waiting for this one is a mexican sunflower i can't wait to see that one that one's going to be beautiful over here i have my zucchini which uh they didn't really do as well as i i would like to have done and i just replanted some seeds in the greenhouse so i'll take you over there in a minute but uh, I wasn't, I didn't get a, a big uh, turnout from, from them. So I'm gonna try and start over. So this is my little walkway uh, bean structure, leaning a little bit, but this is a meditation area that I had my husband build me so that I could sit here in nature and meditate and eat my vegetables. And if you can see in there, there's some edamame that's getting ready to harvest. Over here I have a vining spinach that can tolerate the heat very well. It's called Malabar spinach. And that'll just vine and vine and grow. Um, but I also have cucumbers in here and beans. And this one is a uh, black eyed pea or a cow pea bean. I have them on my website listed because I save these seeds and I give them away. Uh, they are very good growers, very strong, very you know nice green leaves. They seem to be resistant to a lot of different pests and diseases that these other things are uh, susceptible to, like the beetle. The beetle has done quite a job. My little Japanese beetle friends, they have done quite a job on a lot of the leaves here. You can see them doing their little work there. So I'm trying to find different ways to handle those, the, those guys naturally, and this is one method that we found here trying to see if it works. I do see less of them. They, it's, we did a little research online and apparently they don't like the, the smell of the Irish spring and that keeps them away. So I do see less, but they already did all their damage up there with uh, eating the leaves. You can see them. There still are some up there, but I, oh, and I do have one hanging there. So I think it gets rid of some of them, not all of them. Over here, Piper was digging up a mole. I don't know if she got it, uh, but this is a new little bed that I just created. I just wanted to add some color to the garden. And I'm wait. Oh, this is so wonderful. I was just going to say I'm waiting for these to bloom and there it is. There is our first cardinal flower bloom. So excited. So very excited. So I have been waiting because it's been climbing, 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 and there it is. So that's going to be a good hummingbird attractor. I have other things in the garden here that attract, it attracts the different birds and butterflies and 
and uh, hummingbirds and all that, but that one is going to be a good one as well. So over here, I have some things growing in the greenhouse. I just started the fall perennials, and that's what all these are. The fall perennials, getting ready for them. And these have already popped up, so these are only like three days old. Um, and over here we have some microgreens. This is cabbage. This is clover. This is mustard greens. This is kohlrabi. Oh, this is looking really good. Kohlrabi and kale. And this one's not looking so good. I have parsley and broccoli in there. Here's some more uh, wheatgrass. Two different stages, it looks like, except I'm pretty sure I planted them at the same time. So I grow jet that hydroponically. A little bit of water in the bottom there. And those are all my fertilizers and the rest of the space in here. So moving on. Oh, we got little moles. We try to take care of them naturally too, like the Piper. But she doesn't really get them. So over here is the cucumber garden bed. And I have a little bit of a disease problem I need to solve. I see my leaves are turning yellow. So um, this is really the first year I'm trying to grow cucumbers. The kids like pickles and that's what I've grown here is two different kinds of pickling cucumbers and then one lemon yellow cucumber that should be round, but I don't see any of them. I've already picked some of these cucumbers, but I haven't tried them yet. So um, we got some little ones growing up here. You can see maybe the ones on the back will come in real nice. There's a little guy right there. And then on the back side here, I have cantaloupe and watermelon over there. So they might all be eventually fighting for space, just like right here, we fight for space. So this is my little resting area and my son's place that area. But over here, we have our little medicine wheel meditation garden. And then we have a little swing and a feeding area for the animals. And my other little backyard space Coming over here, we have the medicine garden. Here's another little conversation area with my, my beautiful chimes. I just love these chimes. We have our St. John's wort right here. Grew in real nice, I have to contain it with a fence. There's the vervain, it's in bloom right now. Every day, just gets these beautiful little blooms on it. I save that and dry it, make tea out of it. There is the wild bergamot. Beautiful, beautiful. Over here, we have stevia and parsley, oregano, a little sunflower, rosemary, thyme. All the essentials, some yarrow, there's ornamental grass. Oh, it looks like a little flower broke there from the valerian. And some asters, and here is the echinacea. I gotta stand back, look at that echinacea. Isn't that beautiful? That really grew in nice. I'm so happy with that. And it's a nice big pollinator attractor. They all seem to like that. And this is my passion flower vine only one opens well no not one opens they only each flower opens for one day so that one was open yesterday and probably this one here will open today or that one that one will open today when they look like that they're oh whoa look at that that's called a may pop or a passion fruit oh i can't wait till that's ripe that's gonna be good over here is another four o'clock flower, all different colors. Can't wait to see that. We got some zinnias that will come up. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is part of the kids game. Okay, so then moving over here, we got some lemon balm. 
And the zinnia is already in bloom. That's nice to see. Got some butterfly weed or milkweed, I think that is. And the new area for next year. So that's it, that's a tour of the garden. That's an update, 2021 summer. Everything has grown in so very nicely. I'm so happy with this space out here and how it came out. So until our next update, see you in the next video.